Hi Scorpio, these are your general monthly messages. My name is Hannah, welcome to my channel. And it's such an honor to be a part of your wondrous experience today. So we're gonna start off this reading with some channeled messages that I've received from Spirit without the use of any divination tools whatsoever. And then after that, we'll be getting into the tarot and seeing what it can clarify and add on. To be including a extended reading, I'm gonna start doing extended readings again. So you can check out your extended reading in the description box below. It'll be a you versus them style reading. So if you want a more in-depth view into your love life and your romantic situation, you can check out the extended after this video. So your first channeled message says, being resourceful, being more conscious of your resources and getting creative to make things work. Recycling. So there's an energy of being resourceful. I'm hearing MacGyver. <laughs> um, so some of you may be MacGyvering a lot of things this month um, or kind of like trying to use like unlikely things for other purposes. Like using a mason jar to store... Um, you know, your beauty products or something like that. There's an energy of like using resources and recycling resources and turning them into other things. There's like a resourcefulness about you um, during this time that is being emphasized in your energy. So some of you may be kind of like using these unlikely things that you would have never thought would be used for this purpose, but it's like working so perfect. Maybe some of you are getting a recycling bin <laughs> um, or maybe some of you are composting or something like that because recycling can also be in the realms of composting, you know, you're recycling foods and using them for, you know, your veggie garden or your plants or whatever, maybe your yard. Um, but there is this energy of recycling. And this could also be recycling your energy as well because everything is a reflection, right? So some of you may find that you are purging things and instead of letting that energy go completely, you're changing it into something else. So this could be in the realms of relationships, like we're gonna be seeing maybe friendships turn into romantic partnerships, um, friendships maybe turn into business relationships. There's an energy of something changing, but not necessarily ending. So if there's a period of a relationship with somebody that has ended, I don't see it being the end. It feels like it's just gonna be changing or adjusting into something else. So your next channeled message says, a situation where there was silence, there's about to be a whole lot of noise. Um, and I heard it specifically, like the noise that came to mind specifically was cheering, like from a crowd. Um, like I heard like, ah, you know what I mean? <laughs> so there is an energy of like a congratulations, a job well done here. Um, or for some of you, like this will resonate in the sense of you've been working on something in silence, or there's been kind of like a secretive energy around maybe a project, um, or a secretive energy around maybe a new job. Like maybe some of you recently got a new job and you haven't told anybody, or maybe you're pregnant and you haven't let anybody know. You know what I mean? I'm just seeing where um, some of you have been quite silent about something, and then um, there's an energy of noise being in that area because you kind of like tell everybody about this or um, you just like express it or something like that. I don't know. This, this feels like the energy of a release. Virgo had a very similar message. So some of you may be resonating with like Virgo's energies in the sense that you might have these placements in your chart or you might be dealing with Virgo. Um, but I do see the energy of like releasing something like releasing a project or releasing some news, some information. And I just see people cheering you on. It, it feels like there's a congratulatory energy. Some of you might be winning something. I'm seeing like an awards show for some of you. You might be going to an awards show. Yeah, because look at this. She's holding this cup and it's gold like a trophy. I'm telling you, like somebody's going to be announcing that they've won something. Somebody might be like winning the lottery. I don't know. Or winning some kind of like prize. This might even be a relationship. This might be somebody who you've been wanting communication from for a long time, finally coming through and communicating. There's just some sort of victory. It feels like a, like a six of wands type of energy. Some of you might be winning a new home. I'm seeing somebody who like, I don't know, like you may have filled out one of those little surveys online <laughs> or um, like 
one of those surveys at the gym or something and you just like happen to win a free car or like you win a house or something like or you win a vacation like i'm seeing somebody winning like a little getaway for two to like hawaii or something like that like i don't know there's an energy of like winning um either like a trip winning a house it's a it's a big energy because there's like an audience cheering so this is like you know a big group of people that either you know maybe it's people on social media um but an applause like the the energy that i heard specifically when i heard the noise the word the noise it was like a crowd applauding you so this is going to be pretty big news whatever this energy is interesting but be careful scorpio because of course you know when there is good news you do have people who want to kind of come and trespass to see like what they can get out of it um so don't be surprised if you see people kind of coming back around like once you manifest something or once like some good news is is told um you may like kind of announce something online or you might announce something maybe at an award show like you might be at somebody's wedding and you might like make an announcement like at the wedding or something like that this could also be somebody making an announcement at your wedding and kind of taking the spotlight that's what i'm picking up specifically or there's an event that you might have um and then somebody might make it about themselves because that's kind of what this trespasser energy is saying it's like somebody's overstepping a little bit it almost feels like an event or like some kind of situation where you are the one that is being celebrated but there's somebody here that like doesn't, they don't really like when the attention's not on them. You could be dealing with a Leo. <laughs> Let's be real. Um, they don't really like when the attention's not on them. So they might try to kind of step in and like take the spotlight or something like that. I don't know. This won't resonate with all of you, but there is a specific message about like an event or a wedding. Like somebody might announce that, you know, they're getting married at your wedding or something like that you know what i mean or or somebody might announce that they're having a baby like at your wedding it's kind of like they they make this situation about them when because it's almost like this queen of cups is like appalled like look at this it's kind of like somebody does something that everybody is just kind of like okay <laughs> And I don't think it's just you, like, I mean, of course it is you, but I almost kind of wonder if there's not other people that are kind of sitting there too, like, what the hell is this person doing? Because I'm specifically visioning, like, envisioning some kind of award show or some kind of event, maybe you're graduating, um, maybe it's a graduation party and there's, like, a sibling who, like, makes it about them or something like that, um, but it's kind of like, you might be, like, announcing something or you might be doing, like, a speech and then this person like swipes the mic and is like well actually i have something to say too you know what i mean like it's that kind of energy it's very much somebody trying to come forth and swipe what you have like built for yourself and i see you being like what the fuck no look at how she's like holding this cup real close to her it's kind of like this somebody tries to swipe something from you um but you they just miss they miss like like i don't know it's kind of like somebody might say something to this person and be like, listen, like that was really inconsiderate of you to like make an announcement at Scorpio's wedding or make an announcement um, when the event was clearly about Scorpio or something like that. It, this is very specific, guys. So like hold on to your britches because <laughs> I really do pick up that this energy is like, I don't know, it's about an event or about some kind of like big celebration in your life. This is juicy. And somebody tries to like swipe it and and take the, the spotlight off of you or take the attention off of you and put it on them um but i think that this person's gonna get shut down like i almost kind of wonder like if somebody's not gonna say something to this person or call this person out or something because i'm hearing a call out like somebody might call this person out for trying to like do whatever the hell it is that they're doing <laughs> i'm hearing swipe for now swiping <laughs> So like that's kind of what i'm picking up it's kind of like somebody here is going to be telling this person like listen you can't be doing that like this is not your event this is not your time to shine like you you'll have your time you know what i mean that might be the energy too like somebody might feel like you're you're kind of outshining them in some way shape or form for some of you this might be like a younger a younger sibling um or like a younger friend or something like that
But yeah, there is this energy of like somebody trying to make something about them, like something that is clearly about you. And this might not even be an event. This could just be any life situation, like trying to make something that is very clearly about you, about them. And it's just like, it's an interesting energy. It is. So your next card is the book fairy. And I'm definitely picking up like the energy of starting a new book. Like some of you might be, maybe you're joining a book club. Um, maybe somebody got like a Kindle or something like that. Or maybe you might be writing a book. I'm seeing somebody writing like a horror, a horror book. It might be like a bunch of short stories, like a bunch of like those like horror short stories. Somebody is either reading like a scary novel or writing a scary novel. I feel like for some of you, you're gonna be writing a scary novel. And that might even be this trespasser energy. Like there might be somebody who's trying to take credit for your work or something like that. There might be somebody who's trying to take credit for your book. Like you might have a book and somebody might try to like say that it's theirs. I'm not quite sure. Clarify this five coins with the book fairy. I do feel like there is something to brew in here though, Scorp. Like some of you, like I said, you might be starting on a new novel or you might be um, starting a new job like a, a new contract even, like some of you may have a new contract coming forth. And it's kind of like, it's in the works during this time. Like it feels like it's in the works. It hasn't entirely like gone through. Um, this could be like your application for a job or something like that. Like it hasn't been approved, but it's in the works because in this book fairy card, this is steaming. So it's kind of like, you know, I'm seeing the steam happening right before a boil. That's kind of what this is. It's kind of like there's steam arising right before something starts to bubble. Um, and for some of you, this could be a situation that went silent, completely silent. This could even be communication from somebody. Somebody who was silent for quite some time. Um, I feel like they're going to be communicating to you during this time, during this next four week period. And it might be somebody who you disconnected from because that could also be the trespasser energy. is, you know, somebody who you've literally told them, like, stay away from me, like, don't talk to me, and they're talking to you. <laughs> they're trespassing on your energy. Like, somebody is going to kind of leave the door open. They're going to, they're, like, what I'm seeing here, Scorpio, is that someone is coming forth here claiming that they've changed, right? Like, and of course, this is what they're saying, right? Um, they haven't shown any action. This is what they're saying. They're claiming that they're a new person, that they've changed and all of this stuff, and that they're going to leave the door open should you be interested in pursuing a future with them. Whether this is a friend, whether this is a family, mother, or family member, uh, maybe for some of you it's a mother. I feel like the word mother kind of wanted to come out of my mouth there for a second. So for some of you, it could be a mother. Um, but I do pick up the energy of someone who is going to be leaving the door open. Um, cause I'm hearing that song by Bruno Mars and Anderson Pock. I'ma leave the door open. I'ma leave the door open. Like that song. Um, somebody might be leaving the door open for a relationship to potentially happen. Now, whether you're going to go through with this. It's not showing up here currently in the current energy. With the book fairy, you're still kind of sitting on it. You're like, mm, I'll think about it. But with the five of coins, I honestly feel like, yeah, you got the eight of cups at the bottom of the deck. 
I feel like you may decide to disconnect from this person and pursue new. Because for some of you, like, if this is a relationship, like, there's already somebody new in the picture. Or there's going to be somebody new in the picture, like, when this person comes back around. And you're, you're kind of like, mm, I don't really want you anymore. <laughs> so sorry. Goodbye. <laughs> um, that kind of energy. Like, I'm hearing I've moved the fuck on. Like... I stopped thinking about that like three weeks ago. What are you talking about? <laughs> but low key, you've actually been thinking about it every single day since. Because that's a Scorpio. <laughs> we won't tell you we've been thinking about it for the past three years, but we've been thinking about it and we haven't missed a day. <laughs> and we'll cry about it when we're lonely. But I do see where you have moved on from something or there is an energy of you moving on from something. Um, and I feel like there's somebody here who hasn't entirely moved on because they are coming up as the devil. This could be a Capricorn that you're dealing with. Um, could also be another Scorpio because you do have the Phoenix at the bottom of my animal, um, animal spirit deck. So this person, whoever they are, they haven't entirely let go of the situation or they haven't entirely let go of you. So they're, they're saying like, listen, like I'm going to leave it open if you want to come through, if you want to potentially start something new with me, we can do that. But like I said, I feel like you're pretty guarded. I feel like because you've moved on from this situation, you're like, listen, I've already gotten over it. Um, I don't really want to deal with it anymore. I think that some of you are just going to say goodbye to this person because you have the five of coins. Some of you may not even give this person a response. You might just kind of pull the old Scorpio and ghost them. But that is what I'm seeing here. If you'd like to book a personal reading, you can go ahead and click the link down below in the description box. It'll take you to my website and you can book there. Um, the extended will also be in the description box if you want to look deeper into a relationship reading um, between you and your person. You can check that out whenever you'd like. But that is it for today, guys. Have a beautiful rest of your month. Bye-bye. But they go through this like metamorphosis phase after maybe taking a break from social media or after like disconnecting from the world. Like maybe this person went on like some kind of like soul searching journey. So there's just like these different aspects of you and this person that uniquely make you beautiful in your own way. And you kind of both together are very powerful. Specifically during this time period, you're being targeted by this person. I do feel like you might stand up and the stinger might come out for some of you. So I would say just keep your energy strong around this person. Like as long as you don't give a, a reason to this person like to attack you, you'll be fine. You know what I mean? But if you start instigating, because Scorpio, Scorpio energy can kind of be like that sometimes. Like we can be kind of instigators, um, especially when we're pissed off and we're, we're really irritated with somebody. So I would say don't push this person's buttons. Like don't intentionally try to p piss this person off because they can get ugly and you're going to regret it.